All right, gentlemen, Kevin, Troy, and Mike, you've come a long way since you arrived at the training site and began your work badge experience. At that course, you're introduced to many leadership and scouting skills, and you wrote a ticket that was your commitment to put into practice what you had learned. You also set certain goals which you expected to accomplish. During that application period, you were coached and counseled by a scouter, and together evaluated your progress. Finally, you and your coach agreed that your leadership skills had become a way of life for you, and you had reached your goals. Your counsel then recommended you be awarded your bees. To prepare a candidate for acceptance into Woodbat, we must remove the Troop 1 neckerchief. This neckerchief has symbolized service to all that have seen it worn. Service to the unit, the district, and the council. Wherever scouters gather, at Camp Breeze, the summer camp, or to the Arrow, look around. There's a Troop 1 checker you, neckerchief at work. To the candidate, the Troop 1 neckerchief is a reminder of so much more, of joining together as a den, bridging to become a scout, coming together as a patrol and a team, and experiencing a venturing ceremony, learning skills, working and camping together, and growing in scout spirit. So while these Troop 1 neckerchiefs serve, that they now, now need not be retired, but rather now be worn with pride any time the Wood Badge Scouter answers a call for service. And at this point, please remove your neck, Troop 1 neckerchief. When Woodbatch started in 1919, Mr. W.F. McLaren, a district commissioner in Scotland, purchased Gilwell Park near London, England and presented it to the Scouting Association as a training center. We honored him by wearing a patch of the McLaren hunting tartan upon the neckerchief. Please present the Woodbatch neckerchiefs. In England, from patrol leaders to adults, all are recognized according to their position in scouting by using various colors of wagons. Woodbatch scouters the world over are recognized by a two-strand leather wagon. Please present the Woodbatch wagons. Wood badge is named for the badge given those who successfully complete the entire experience. The badge now consists of two wooden beads worn on a leather thong around the neck. These are replicas of a bead necklace obtained in 1888 by Baden Powell while he was serving in the military in Africa. In looking for a suitable recognition for the scouters who completed the first course in 1919, Baden Powell remembered the necklace and decided to give a bead to each of the participants. At this time, the name Wood Badge became attached to the course. Please present the Wood Badge beads. Mm -hmm.
<clears throat> then said that Wood Badge is the peak, the peak scouting training experience. This may be true, but it is so much more. It is a commitment, a commitment to lifelong learning, a commitment made by a candidate towards service to scouting, <clears throat> to its ideals, and to oneself. Every scouter accepted for Wood Badge course subscribes to this, both, to this commitment, both in words and deed. In the words of Baden Powell, in every country, the aim of scouting's training is identical, namely efficiency for service towards others, and with such an object in common, we can, as an international brotherhood of service, go forward and do far-reaching far work. The Wood Badge Award comes a certificate that reads, Wood Badge, given by Boy Scouts of America, in recognition of completing the National Wood Badge requirements, is hereby signed by the Chief Scout Executive. And I'd ask you in joining us and congratulate you gentlemen.